midfield here. Tobias Steinhauser sitting in the back, just checking on his uh, with his chat with the boys behind. I don't know if you saw that acceleration there by Jens Voigt. It was unbelievable. He actually accelerated to halfway up through the main field, so he's still in contact. He's still in the yellow jersey. Good for him, and he's on his way down. So the Corme de Rosalon is over for this year at least. There's an 100 kilometers an hour at the moment on the way down. We're doing a quick conversion. That's 62 miles an hour going downhill. That's pretty impressive on a bike that's got tires that are not much more than an inch wide. This is a very fast descent now. You see here Jorg Jats just pushing Oscar Pereiro. This low profile position they're trying to get into is a very precarious thing to do, but it is the, almost the same position that a ski racer adopts when he goes downhill. And amazingly enough, I've done this many, many times. You go downhill a lot faster than like that than you can do if you're actually pedaling. Well, he's got a chance if he keeps up speeds like this. He'll pull back the leaders. Rochard is still on his own. And being chased by Costuma, Fanchi, Sanchez, Kritsov. Then we've got the other two remnants of the breakaway. Well, Bortolami, Isasi, and then we've got Pereiro and Yatsk. That is the order of the descent. And after Pereiro and Yatsk, we have all of the other fancy.